Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to work on another Christmas scrapbook page. And we're going to use the Vicki Booten Evergreen and Holly papers. Um, I love this set. <laughs> I love Vicki Booten. I mean, seriously, she's the best. Um, this was actually from the December scrap room um, kit. So we're going to use these sides of these papers. We've got some dark green. I've got eight four by four photos to use. This was our um, Bible study groups Christmas. Look at my weenie boy. Look at it. So we're going to make a double page layout using all eight of these photos. We've got the embellishments, the washi. I don't know if we'll use that, but we have it. Lots of embellishments, paper, paper, paper. Let's get going. Okay, our base page is going to be this lovely green basil cardstock. Let's do a three and a half inch wide strip of this lovely plaid paper. We're going to do it down the left side of the layout. Get the big old ATG going. Actually, I'm going to get the stand out and leave it out on the table instead of on the carts. All right, so let's get this turned around here. And then I'm going to put the rest of it over on the right side. So we'll have some of this paper on both sides of the layout. There we go. Isn't that lovely? That's such pretty paper. I adore it. Okay, so I'm debating which way I want to go here. All right, I'm going to put this on just about like this. So I need to cut it. Right about here. So I want it to span both sides of my papers here. All right, let's see how I did here. So if that butts up against it there. Hey, I think I did all right. Okay, but before I glue that down, I'm going to do some cutting around this so that I can slip the edges of my photos in it. I used to do this years ago. And I'm not really very good at, with an X-Acto knife, but... but sometimes these, you know, large single elements on a page. I hate to have them get covered up by a photo. Cut around them. And you can let them out. Set them free. Okay, so I've got my cut out piece of paper. See, I cut some of this out so I can slip my pictures in underneath. And I'm going to glue this down, but not put any glue behind this part. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it from top to bottom. I'm sure it's not going to be perfectly centered, but it'll be close enough, right? There we go. 
And then we'll add this piece on the other page. lined up together at least, right? All right, there we go. So now we've got our two page spread pretty much going, right? And I need to decide how I want my pictures to lay out. What's going to be focal? Wee boy. So we've got dinner. Hubs open and present, bed, hubs open and present, humans, dinner again, bed and sleep. Okay. Let's see, I want Sam. And Ted be the ones on this side. I'm going to trim them down a little. I think the three by three So there's Ted and Wee Boy. Look at that, his nose was in exactly the right spot. Cut him down to three by three. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna mat Ted and Sam onto some red cardstock. This is just a scrap out of the bin. But it came in handy. Something went awry earlier. There we go. Head and set. Do a tiny little red border around them. All right. So we got Ted and Sammy in red. Okay, now I want to do a strip of craft across. Blah, blah, blah. Craft across here. <laughs> Just as kind of a landing point. And I'm going to round the corners with, let's see, the biggest, the biggest roundest round. Yeah. We're going to go like this. Yes, I didn't need to round that, did I? Oh, well. Glue this down. You know what? I'm not doing any inking or anything on this scrapbook page. It's just going to be a scrapbook page. No mixed media today, friends. That's okay. You don't always need all that stuff. I mean, most of the time, <laughs> but not always. Okay. Get this side down, get you guys even back up. There we go. There. And then Sam and Ted can go like this. Oh, look, it's a perfect fit. Woohoo! Let me 
got your little cut out holly just going right over them. And I think instead of making it go flat, we'll use some thin foam squares. Let it pop up a little bit, but still be adhered down. That doesn't mind eat it. All right. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Now we have pictures, which I think a lot of these I can probably trim down into three by three. So this was um, <laughs> my poor husband, you know, we're in our late forties and he has had to get reading glasses. Well, Ted and Susan, <laughs> they, um, they got him reading glasses for Christmas and not only reading glasses, but the string. <laughs> And they were, listen, they were so pleased with themselves. <laughs> it was kind of funny. All right. Might have to take a couple out because I thought I had eight, but I actually have 10. Um, all right. I'm going to take that one out. And we'll take that one out. Okay. So we'll have these. Which, like I said, I think I can trim down. Where's the trimmer? All right. So this one is Pete reading the package, which I thought was hilarious. Because Ted was like, try them out, try them out. <laughs> mm. We have fun friends, that's for sure. Three by three. Oh, yeah. So there's one. All right. So let's see how we line these up here. That one. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, look at that. Four of those can line right up. Sweet home, Alabama. Now we can do these. We'll put Ted and Susan over here. If I can get these on the red. Oh, I'll turn them down to three by three. Okay, I'll make you a little smaller. Okay. I have these at three by three. There's enough room to map them on the red. So let's do that. The toe moved on me. Oh, my son's Santa hat is a Yoda hat. We had just been at Disney a couple days before, and Ted was making fun of him about he kept calling it elf ears because he was making fun of him because Ted's an ex Marine, he's a retired military Marine. And uh, my husband, or my husband, my son did a four year, you know, just one round. And Ted kept saying, Marines don't wear elf ears, and he knew it was Yoda, but he was calling him elf ears to mess with Austin. Awesome. It's like, that's it. You got to get out. <laughs> They're not elf ears. I'm not listening to you anymore. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, then that can go there. Ted and Susie. I'll probably put them on the red, too. Yeah, Susan was very excited for this package of candy. She's funny. Nope, that's not going to work. 
All right, well, let's just put the Ted and Susan right there. That gives us some room for some embellishment. And this one here, so let's pop it up. We're just going to use some red fun foam right on the back of there. Perfect. Now we can pop them up just a little. I don't worry about a whole lot of dimension on scrapbook pages because, you know, they get smushed down anyway. So Put them right about there. There's my homies. And then let's just start lining up feet here. I'm going to go like this. Just going to line them right up, up together. And the last one. Keep reading the packaging here. I'll just have to trim that very little bit right there. Look how cute that's turning out. Okay, now we got to add some embellishments. We're going to list. Oh, I've got snowflakes on it. Oh, in the mood for Christmas. That's a good one to put here. We can use that. Because we were definitely in the mood for Christmas. It was a fun night. <laughs> Some more holly. Oh, one for the record books. Look at him. He's. I need to make a card with him. He's precious. Uh, I like that, but it says making a list and checking it twice. I don't know if I want to use that on this page. Under the tree, there's no pictures of our tree in this. Although there is the, uh, you can see the reflection of the lights in the television. <laughs> Okay, so I think for Pete, for his old lady glasses, one for the record books is the way to go. And we're going to use some bear glue since this is tiny. Bear glue for the win, as I like to say. Uh, bear glue for the rest to the rescue. And then this, I think... it there. And then we'll put that there. Let's pop these holly berries up though. Just some use some more of the fun foam. Holly berries everywhere. I love them. Then, I'll tuck that in there. How's that? You know, this makes me remember I did not buy any candy canes last Christmas. None. Didn't have any kids around, so I didn't think about it because Charlie didn't come around. Except for exactly on Christmas, so I didn't buy any. All right, let's put some twine in this tag here. I've got gold and silver both. 
I'm doing. Because why not? Kind of messy. Now I think we should pop that up too, but maybe we'll just use the thin foam squares. Yes, let's pop that up. Then let's put this right out here. That's lovely. Oh, and that's probably gonna hang. Oh, got some glue. And get that to stay just right there, just right there. And you know what? I am gonna use this. Even though it says making a list and checking it twice, I just think it's darling. I want to use it, so it's going on. I think I want it about there. Okay. All right, now for the title. Debating whether I wanted to use black or this this chunky gold might look really nice. Let's see. I want just want to do Christmas. Let's see. Okay. Now, I think I've said this before, but I like to add adhesive to my thickers because I've had them fall like over time. So let's just, we're going to line right up on this line down here. Ledger paper, yay. take some of these little periods and kind of just put them here and there to bring that gold all over the place. I like the scattering sequins or something. Just kind of brings it all over so it's not just like oh that's the only thing is the title what the what man okay for 2022 i cut the numbers from this tim holtz die set using some gold glitter or not gold glitter mirror gold cardstock and i'm just going to use bare glue to put them down So we've got Christmas 2022, and then I punched a few hearts from the same uh, mirror card stock to get this gold kind of scattered around as well. So let's put a few of these down. That one's easy there. right here make a little cluster alrighty I've got my party mix here so I can add some hearts just put one in here Cute little red heart
how to be a better finger to see that. Let's see, I'm just put one here. Oops. <laughs> Let's do, yeah, we'll do the red one there as well. And then how about a green one over here? Rolled, that'll be pretty. Um, that one right there, that'll be nice. I like mixing them up. Because this one's a Twiddler's Nook one, and this one is a Close to My Heart. And I like that they're different shapes, so I like to mix them up a little bit. Makes my heart happy. Okay, enough of those. Now, let's add a few uh, confetti pieces from Trinity. Love these things. Love them, love them. Mm, how about the... Uh, Big one and little one. I'm going to add some clear white ones in there too. One, two, three, something there. I just like the little bit of shimmer that those add. They're not quite as out there as actual sequins are. Of course, I love me some sequins. No joke about that. Now we'll go on to the clear. These are actual sequins. Oh, no, they're not. They are the confetti. I thought they were sequins at first, but it's all just been a while since I've cracked them open, huh? A clear one there. I'll put a bigger one there. Put a big one there. That's so pretty. Mm, not there. How about I think that's it. All right, put these back in. Oh no, missed. Uh, is that their way of telling me they want to go on the page, maybe? Even though I feel like I have enough. The very last thing I want to do is add some stickles to the berries. We got our Christmas red stickles here. I'm not going to do every berry over on this large berry. I think that's going to be a lot. Do some. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty friends, here's our completed scrapbook page. We used all Vicky Booten paper and embellishments along with some stickers, some gold mirror cardstock, Christmas red stickles for the win, and some little hearts and sequins from various places. <laughs> I will link to everything in the, the uh, description and I hope you like this scrapbook layout. This is a good way to use a lot of pictures, especially if they're able to be cut down. So remember, be excellent to each other and go make something. Bye-bye.